Meanwhile, Kiev, the Ukrainian capital remains deserted. Russian troops are eyeing the Ukrainian capital, but the people refuse to let down their guards. Our correspondent Anas Malik reporting for us from the heart of the conflict, decoding every move for us. In our next story, he reports from the TV tower, which was shelled by Russians. Take a look. I'm standing in Kiev, right next to the TV tower, which was very recently targeted by the Russian side. Uh, the uh, missiles flew in over here. The shelling was done over here. You can probably see the damage as well. If my camera person can just follow me, uh, those barbed wires and the hedges that have been damaged because of uh, the shelling. And then to the right is the control uh, and the building that was damaged. You can see those burnt signs. You can see uh, uh, the, those glass shards and those broken windows. They're a testimony in itself about the extent of damage. Not just that, you can probably see uh, the burnt trees, uh, the trees that have caught fire because of this uh, uh, this uh, shelling that had been done, because of this attack that had been done on the TV tower itself. And uh, you can see those black trees, those burnt trees, uh, that uh, uh, electricity pole that's broken as well. So it goes on to explain in itself, these pictures are quite telling. Uh, they tell a story themselves. There are some army personnel inside. They go on to explain the damage that has been incurred on the TV tower when, as and when, it was shelled by the Russian forces just uh, some days back here in the center of Kiev. Anas Malik in Kiev, Ukraine, for Vion, World is One. Vion, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.